So, on to work now and set up. He's leaving in a second if you want to say goodbye. reached out to the State Bank of Liston. As you can see, they are number 135 on my list. And as you can see here, the last uh, two banks that I contacted on the list. Were First Source Bank and Star Financial. So uh, the next one on the list after First Source and Store Financial State Bank of Houston. So next it, I am contacting them about that email. So what I have done here is I have went to their looking for contact means of contact. I've went to their website. And let's take a look at that. So the State Bank of Liston is here. And um, to make sure it was the right one, I went to locations and verified that 
That particular one is there. So, yes, that's the one that I initially contacted. So I went to the contact us page and I would rather send an email than call right now because um, I'm a little bit busy in here and um, I'm actually working from the, my home office is obviously in North Carolina for the company, but I'm working as I, while I'm going and I'm here um, in Staten Island at the, where I live in New York City. Um, at the uh, Pride Center of Staten Island. So I'm working uh, remotely from here right now. And I actually um, feel more comfortable emailing them. Or, but since I don't have an email address right now, other than the one that I initially sent, um, which is a banker's email address, I am gonna contact them through this their contact list form. They check it frequently. More than likely, they have a staff member that does. So, I have contacted them here. Give me my name, email number. Um, I emailed them here. So, just giving them a message. I'm always been a pretty positive guy, so figure keep the positive attitude and wish everybody good luck, you know? Even though, you know, they're not necessarily financing my company right now, which I initially asked them for, I still wish them good luck. So, I should continue in that set as I'm pretty sure there are positive people here as well. That's, so that's verified and now we'll submit it. Usually I would snapshot the confirmation and keep that for my records. But in this case, since I'm getting a video of it, I guess I should be good. So, um, yeah. But, so I'm just getting back to that task again. I had been doing a lot of sharing videos via Facebook and another networking um, site I use, which is maybe more of a dating site, but I, I mean, I've been using it for all the pictures I post there are company related, real estate related, and um, usually if someone hollers at me, I usually tell them what I'm about, you know, I've been trying to move into high end real estate, and that I've been working at it for several years, and they can check it out via my YouTubes, and, or my company page, and of course I'm social as well. But uh, just like being honest with the people that I meet and seek out there, as well as the ones that seek me out, and you know, all over the country. So, this is kind of what I do. It's what I've been up to for several years, who I am. So, that's what I've, what I've been doing. Maybe later, if I can figure out a way to uh, get that get that to you I might even share with you exciting but I will have to have like pictures and identities and stuff like that because since it's a different type of site I don't to uh, risk people's privacy but I will show you some matter of fact in the process let me see what we can do real quick Mind you, this is not necessarily a, um, this is what I'm moving away from back into the lists task of 
A couple of the sites have um, just allowed me for spamming and checking, like, because I'm a member of the LGBT community, I use sites like Grindr, Jax, Adam for Adam, and Jax have just allowed me several times for spamming for promoting my company, but thank God for BGC and, um, What's the other one? Um, Jack that I use, and um, I've moved away from the task of like talking to God and dating or stuff like that to strictly company. So, for example, here is here is my account. Let's go to my profile, right? So what? This is my profile state. In the past, it stated something different, different details to what I'm looking for and stuff like that. But what does it state now? And what are my pictures here? So that's one, that's a piece of real estate in New York that's currently on sale for nearly $34 million. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the pictures that I, that I have on my account. The other one is me promoting my YouTubes. The other one is another house that's in sale for Texas. That's uh, at least meets um, what I look for in a home standard in, si in terms of size and design. And there's even a snapshot, even though it's upside down, of my my company's homepage. And then there's another one of me. And even though this this um, particular set is usually used. For like dating, for example, I won't show you, I won't necessarily show you names, but there are many, I'll show you a number how many, there's seven right there, seven people, right? Seven people. And if I go to the particular message, well, she doesn't mind. I'm going to step out on a ledge and, and show you the conversation a little bit. So, for example, this one oh, I spoke to. Or she may be a drag, this is the LGBT community, or she may be tr transgender. But I spoke, she spoke back. I asked she lives in Nebraska. I asked her what's going on in Nebraska. I don't think I've been except on my And um, she responded, what? Beyond that, uh, Nebraska, you're in Nebraska? She said, yes. I said, cool, I've never been, but I know. I'll give her an address of a house that, so that meets my company standards. Types that I initially wanted to build, and I said, I'm obviously into high-end real estate. One that's in her state and in her, in her city, even. I just mentioned it just to kind of like get her in the field of, you know, who I am and what I'm dealing with and who she's, you know, talking to and types of things. For example, if she decided one day she wanted to buy the, a home similar to it, she would at least know what that goal is. I don't know if she's seen one before, maybe she lives in one, but I don't know. But if she hadn't, you know, she's got something new on, on in her, her, on her palette for what she might want to work towards if she decides that that's something she wants. Anyways, this is the conversation continues this way. Cool, I've never been, but I know such and such. 
Cumming Street, 13819 Cumming Street in Nebraska is a nice home. I'm obviously in high-end real estate, something I've been trying to attain for several years now, as can be seen on my YouTubes and on my website. Check me out on Google. Check out Google that address. Let me know what you think of the design and makeup. It's what I do, people. It's what I do with everybody I talk to. For example, let's just take a look at that particular address in Omaha. That's where she is. As you can see from Realtors, Zillow, and all of these property, uh, Redfin, all of these realtor, real estate websites, it's um, not having the right address. Find out. I didn't want to show you that, but oh, I did. It's this home. I shout out to Realtor.com for that space. It fits my size parameters very slightly. Seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, currently on sale for just under two million dollars. And I just mention that to her and that's how all of my conversations every one of the people on that list that's how the conversations go and usually even people in Africa for example I'll show you another hopefully they don't mind hopefully they don't mind helping me helping me out and hopefully helping other people out serving as examples but um in this journey, uh, let's see. Um, what about? A friend here in in uh, California said good morning. Brother, what's up, man? Nice profile. We should chat or more. Um, so I responded to him that, you know, an address 10979 Chalon Road in Los Angeles. What what do you think of the design and makeup of the place? Zillow Realtor.com, etc. I'm obviously in a high-end real estate, something I've been trying to attain for several years, as can be seen in my YouTubes and website. Other than that, what's going on in L.A.? So... If we looked at it, ten, nine, seven, nine. So, Why did I turn up fast? Come on, let's get in the focus. Like it wants to take a lunch break or something. <laughs> okay, so let me give that a second to clear up. This is the David Bonnet Center here at the Staten Island Pride Center. There it is. Staten Island Pride Center. So, it's a, uh, that particular address is a 31,000 square foot uh, single family home. Obviously, my website mentions that I'm look, looking to build homes between 10 and 20,000 square feet. I like the address, and I think at the particular address, 31,000, was interesting. So, um, I just mentioned it to the person that's in that area, you know, in that message that you saw. Um, hopefully, me and that person will continue to conversate, and we learn 
more about each other as the conversation continues. However, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the address. 1079 Shalon Road, Los Angeles. Get us a 31,000 square foot home. 12 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms. It's newly built for uh, 1.2 million. Actually, no, here it's listed as 26,000 square feet, so it's not that much. It's not 31,000 according to Redfin, even though it's 31,000 according to Zillow. What's up with that? 26,000 a year. But, um, shout out to Zillow, but there, there is the house there in LA behind the West Gate, I think, on Sunset Boulevard where, you know, stars lived from times before and times now. And, you know, rich doctors and stuff like that. And a lot, probably some people that won the lottery or stuff like, you know, high-end homes. But anyways, um, that's pretty much how all of those conversations go here for me. And for the people that are in Indiana, it goes the same way in West Virginia. Tell them about a home there that meets my company needs. And then tell them about the website and YouTubes and Texas and New Mexico and any state that I talk to someone in Utah and South Dakota. Uh, that's how the conversation goes. I'll show you one more example. It's not that it matters, but. I think is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So I'm gonna try to hide. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to hide the name, but. Gave two addresses in this particular situation. You want to take a look at them? So, it's two, nearly three million dollars for sixteen thousand square feet. This is the house that I'm looking to buy. Um, for myself. Um, so, here we go. It's, it's the one in Tulsa. And, a beautiful double staircase, I guess, for, that will work for like someone that's like a couple. I don't know what the thing of the double staircase is. But yeah. So then there's a home there and then there was the other um, example that I gave was twenty one twenty one East twenty ninth Street. Four million for this eleven thousand square foot room. So, that's just a few examples. We could go a little bit further to. This guy, who's in West Virginia, I thought he was in D.C., so I asked him about an address in D.C., but he says he doesn't, so I mentioned an address in, in, where, in his uh, city.
And there we have it. Thirteen million dollars for nineteen thousand square foot on um, there. Last but not least, who is here? Oh, he's the new guy. Um, this guy. Um, hi, hi. So he's in Texas, and uh, shout out to him. Blessings and prosperity your way. Um, yeah, so that's what I mentioned to him, and um, you know, we had a conversation. And <laughs> so, you know, we kept talking, and this is how the conversation uh, continues. But I'm pretty sure I showed him an address. Yeah. yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Let me see. Five, fifty-one, thirty-one seconds. Drive. She's coming down. I need to go up. So I'm gonna send you up. She's on her way back. She's back right now. Okay. Hey guys. Is it clear up yet? I don't know why this computer is still on. It's a good sign, always play it safe. Seneca Drive. Why is it not clearing up? You know? Stone walls. I got a video from there. Maybe I'll link that in with this video. Come on, camera. I only got 12, uh, 12, 7, 12, 70 by, some, by 80 resolution. I don't remember the video theory, what, exactly what the dimensions of, you know, advancing that or optimizing it is, but here we go. Uh, in Dallas, Texas, 16,000 square feet. Dallas, Texas. Um, oh, there it is. It's beautiful. And then after that, and so, yeah, nearly nine million. Of course, the area and all types of several different types of factors. You know, you have to take into consideration for why they're charging that much, materials used, how much land, and etc. Um, the foundation, the grading process, which is 
pre-foundation, pre-pouring the foundation and the footing for the foundation of her home, stuff like that, surveying and stuff. But anyways, yeah. First in Slovakia, Michigan, yeah. Green Rapids, Michigan. So these people, I don't know, maybe they already live in huge mansions. But if they don't, if they have never seen them like I before I had seen my, the one, picked mine out online, the one I wanted, hadn't actually seen one other than on Cribs or like on TV or stuff like that. But I knew, I've always known that's what I wanted since I was like a child. Um, so in those situations, when stuff had, like that has happened, for like in my situation when I hadn't seen it until I saw it, well, once I saw it, I was able to re-verify, even though I knew once I picked it out online, I wanted it. Um, that I was able to re-verify that, you know, this is the home that I want for myself, personally. Not that it takes all, all that for everybody. Obviously, you can be happy in a smaller space. Hell, I'd be happy if I was in an apartment right now versus a room. Let's be honest about it. I could have a happy home there. But... The, what I've picked and what I've been working at for several years now is the larger home. Um, so, you can check that mission out again. Check it me out on YouTube, check me out on my company's page. Um, for the people that I'm associating with, if this is their first time seeing it like it was my first time, now they have a vision. Maybe they had dreamed before, but they hadn't seen the actual product. Now that you've seen it, you can know what I'm working towards, if that's what you decide to do, or whatever. Or I don't need all that. Um, I don't need that much exercise. I'm walking in this, that big ass home. I don't need to feel like I'm walking through a gym to, to walk from one side of my home to the next. You know, every day or whatever. Fine, I get that. I don't want. To, I don't like. I'm scared, or I don't want to be in that space by myself or whatever. But, um, so, I mean, each different people have different ideas, mentalities, and such and such and such. You know, but, um, if you are into that type of thing and you do want that type of home then feel free to know that um, what it looks like. And thanks to my company, hopefully some, for some people, they now know. If, it, if I did show you for the first time, I, thank you. I, I love the kind of magic words. I was raised on them. I know everybody wasn't, including my spouse. But um, I was, and, <laughs> and I liked them, so... Feel free to leave me a like or comment on one of my Facebook, uh, one of my YouTube videos. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so back to business. So the next one on the list is.